the young man's self-discipline. What, what, what's the end goal of all this we've been talking about? Is the formation of virtues. The word virtue itself comes from the Latin virtus, which means manliness. Virtus means manliness. We have a crooked, erroneous, warped sense of what real manhood is all about in our society. It's not this macho thing of bullying those that are weaker than you or, or wildness of violating the law and getting away with it. It is being strong to protect the weak. You know, it's not, it's not passivity either. It's not timidity. It's using our strength in, in its proper way. That's true manhood. And you look at the knights of old. They were, um, they had virtue as their, um, as their trait. So of the four cardinal moral virtues, prudence, justice, fortitude, and temperance, temperance is the most crucial to the young man. Temperance is the ability to govern one's sensual appetites. In short, it is the acquisition of self-control. Purity or chastity is an aspect of temperance and is of chief importance in the moral and spiritual development of young men. And this is where, where what we've been talking about from adolescence, those of us with teenage sons and young and, and young adult. So of those four moral virtues, temperance being the most important, temperance being the most crucial, and of chief importance among the temperance, we're going to talk about purity and chastity. That's real manhood. Often attributed to women. You now we think of purity as a, as a female trait. It's the mark of real manhood. And that's what we're going to spend the rest of this meditation on. If during adolescence the newly acquired powers of procreativity are properly ordered, a boy will be well on his way to both manhood and sanctity. For purity forms the cornerstone of manly self-discipline. Impurity specifically dishonors and sins against manhood and the vocation of fatherhood. If impurity is the specific vice against manhood, then purity is its specific virtue. Since impurity dishonors manhood, the key to fostering the virtue of purity is to instill in a young man an honor and reverence for his virility. So our sons need to understand that this desire they have, or urge they have, is not wrong, but it is very healthy and good. Pope John Paul II in Theology of the Body said this is the strongest drive we possess as men. Stronger than our desires for anything else. Stronger than the desire of, of hunger for food, although we may not get to tell that in some more than others. Um, nevertheless, well, that's another talk, but I guess it is some to, in a discipline in some sense. Uh, or for prestige, or for a feeling of importance, or for material things. This is the most powerful. Now, as proof of that, about 75 years ago, a man wrote a book, and he had done a study of some very wealthy men. Napoleon Hill wrote uh, Think and Grow Rich, and he looked at what were the common traits amongst the wealthy. And this was one of them. And what they, this power they possessed, they would redirect and channel into creative and productive things. And so they ended up forming big businesses and, and becoming very wealthy. Um, so it just goes to show you that, that the, the drive can be redirected and used for good things.